Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the WCW United States Heavyweight Championship.
Looks like he's starting to sweat now. Looks like he may have let his guard down there for a moment and it cost him. The important thing is that he doesn't overreact here. He's taken on a little bit of damage, but it's nothing he can't overcome. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much. What a strike. Down. That's not going to do it. He just powered out there, Cole. On the shoulders here. And it could be a long way down from there. Right, that was a long way down. In 2017, the WWE Universe saw the immeasurable power of Braun Strowman unleashed in handicap matches. The monster among men annihilated teams of two, three, scoop slam, big head by. Psycho Sid pops the shoulder up. Gonna take a whole lot more. Nailed it. Corey, I remember when we called the action that night on Raw, and Braun Strowman was simply unstoppable. The easiest way to put it is that Braun Strowman doesn't care if he's in the ring against local competitors or WWE superstars because Braun Strowman just wants to tear people apart. There aren't many individuals who are just as dominant in handicap matches as they are in traditional singles matchups. He's got him covered. Ooh, what impact. There's a quick kick out from Psycho Sid. Wow. What a stomp. Good grief. What a poop. Double axe handle smash. A handicap match is the type of match where a superstar or superstars square off against respective opponents. And one side has a numerical advantage against the other. This could be a singles match or a tag team match, and as we've seen through history, can include any amount of superstars. Talk about a game of roulette. This might be it! Oh my! Oh, oh good night! Sorry. And the instinct from Psycho Sid on display! Handicap matches have been part of the WWE for decades. The superstar who's seen the most handicap matches out of anyone is the iconic eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Andre took on teams of two, three, and four men at a time. The Giant's opponents could be in the ring at the same time. The one man is in the ring, and the team members are on the ring apron, similar to the traditional tag team contest. Handicap matches are some of the most unpredictable matches in sports entertainment. The great Andre the Giant traveled the world and defeated teams in all numbers. In the ultimate show of dominance, Andre would stack his fallen opponents on top of one another and pull them all at once. Throughout WWE's more than 54-year history, there's one superstar who raises their game even higher in a handicap match. It's the superstar with the motto, one versus all, and that's the big dog, Roman Reigns. Beautiful technique. What a knockout punch! Oh, man! Psycho Sid quickly getting the shoulder up. That's all right, Cole. That night on Raw, Roman Reigns was determined to take down Anderson and Gallows. What I found more impressive than taking Anderson and Gallows on was that Reigns did so right before he squared off against Braun Strowman in fast lane. The big dog never rests. Roman Reigns is happy to take on anyone who thinks the WWE ring is their yard. Look, I'll never dismiss the power, determination, and ability of Roman Reigns. I've been in the ring with the man. The match ended because Roman took it upon himself to attack Anderson and Gallows with a steel chair, which in my mind was done without just cause. It is something I don't condone. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, right to the face. How can they get away with that? That's not legal. Boom, what impact. Down with a powerbomb. Oh, man. Jordan headbutt. Harsh impact. Stops the count. Lucky in. Oh, what the face destroyed. He's looking a little off balance. He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he wants to win here. Man, he was making it look easy there for a moment, which is pretty impressive. Psycho Sid wins. Psycho Sid wins.